Hello designer, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gigi. I am a fashion designer based in London. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this cut out one piece swimsuit. The sewing pattern is available to download in the description below. If you like this video, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Now let's get started. You will need the following supplies. Place your fabric on fold and cut one for your front piece. Again, place on fold and cut one for your back piece on the fold. And repeat with the lining. Now cut your stripes. You need two neck stripes, one and the bust stripes. All the measurement will be on the pattern. This is all the pieces you should have. Now place your front and back piece right side together and pin on the crotch seam. Repeat with your lining, but with your lining we need to leave a small hole so we can turn our swimsuit right side out later. Just mark where you're going to leave your open. And then now get your stripes place, get your stripe fold right side together lengthwise and we're going to sew along. So what I like to do, I like to sew my stripes in one go, like a really long piece of fabric. And then that way I just trim how much I need. We're going to sew along there. So now stitch your crotch seam using a 0.5 seam allowance. And make sure, don't forget to leave a hole for the lining on the crotch seam. And do your stripes as well. Now turn your stripes right side out. I'm using a loop toner. If you don't have a loop toner, you can always use a safety pin. So we're going to save our stripes for later. So now get your swim piece, your main fabric and your lining. So I have left a hole on my lining. So now lay your lining piece flat and place right side together with your main fabric and then pin all around and make sure your seam are aligned. Now 
those clips really help uh, stretch fabric to stay in place because sometimes stretch fabric can be very slippery so those pins are very helpful I highly recommend to get if you can and we're going to sew all around now go ahead in your overlock machine and just stitch along using a 0.5 seam allowance Now get your stripes that we made the earlier and then measure two stripes for your neck. All the measurement is going to be on the pattern. Now place your stripes inside the next line. and pin in place. Do the same to the other side. I like to leave a small tip because that makes it easier when you go to your sewing machine. You're going to sew longer. And make sure, don't forget to backstitch. What I like to do, I like to like stitch three times so that way our stripes going to be secure so even if we pull it's not going to the thread's not going to break now I'm trimming any excess fabric now get your pattern uh, we have a guide on the pattern, so this guide is to guide us where we need to stop when we attach the elastic. Just place a pin like I'm doing here. I just like to transfer the pin using the guide, the one I just used the pattern to mark. And then I just fold back again and then just transfer the pin to the other side. But you don't have to do how I'm doing here. You can just get the pattern, flip to the other side and then put in your pin guide. So now we're going to add the elastic there, stopping at the pin and over there as well. There. You might be asked why you, we know adding the elastic all the way is because at the top area we need to make a channel so we don't want an elastic there because otherwise it's going to be too bulk. And then the other thing as well we're going to mark one centimeter around the seam for the bottom because that way we're not going to have a bulk when we add the elastic. Ok, 
okay now just add your elastic please do not stretch the elastic because all my pattern has already been graded to a negative ease so you don't need to stretch your elastic now we have attached the elastic we're going to turn our swimsuit right side out Now get your back seam and put inside your front seam and pin. Just put it inside, right side together and just pin. And do the same for the other side. Get the bottom seam, put it inside the front seam. Now put your Place your finger inside that hole that we left and then just push all your swimsuit inside. And then you're going to find those same that we put inside. So now just pin in place, right side together. We're going to sew there. Take your time when you do this because you want to make sure your seams are aligned together. So go ahead in your sewing machine and just stitch along. Make sure to back stitch as well. Like I said before, I like to back stitch three times just to make sure my threads are nice and secure. So now we have attached, we have sewn the seam. Now turn your seam suit right side out. Now we're going to make the channel. So just mark one centimeter uh, gap, just like this. Repeat on the other side. You can put a pin to guide you. You don't have to, but I like to do that because that way I'll make sure my line is going to be straight. So I have done my line. So because the print side is my main fabric, so that's where I am going to sew on the top. So I'm just going to transfer my pin because I was doing the lining section, which is a black color, to be easier for you designer to see. And I'm just going to do again because that's going to be my main fabric, the print one. So just do exactly the same. Next, we're going to sew straight the uh, stitch. And don't forget to back stitch as well.
Now we need to open a small hole to insert our underbus stripe. Just get your own pick and just open a really small hole. It doesn't have to be that big. Sorry about this part, the designer. I didn't realize I wasn't actually placing my hand on the center, but I do, you guys probably understood what I meant. So now measure your stripes for the underbus. Get your loop turn and just insert in. I went ahead as well and I closed the hole for the crotch seam. I have my other video where I show you how to close the hole that we usually leave on the crotch seam. I'm going to link the other video below if you want to watch as well. And you got towel one piece swimsuit is done. Well done, designer. And here's the final product. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope to see you on my next video.